Just a few hours ago, I had made a video on potentially the best large language model to have ever been released that is open source and it is by the DeepSeek team, called DeepSeek R1, a reasoning model with insane capabilities where it outcompetes OpenAI's O1 model in various benchmarks while being 30 times cheaper and fully beats Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as well as GPT-4 Omni. DeepSeek R1 is 100% open source under the MIT license with six distilled models so that anyone can basically access it with 128k context length as well as being 96% cheaper than OpenAI's O1 model while delivering similar performance. If you take a look at this image, you'll see that the OpenAI O1 model is priced at $60 per a million output tokens, whereas the DeepSeek R1 is priced at $2.19 per 1 million output tokens. And you can see that this is a drastic change and it's why many people would use the DeepSeek model locally over something like OpenAI's O1 model. I've already made a full video detailing why DeepSeek R1 stands out as the best model you can use, but today we're shifting focus to the DeepSeek R1 coder. This model is a game changer as a coding assistant thanks to its sheer power and versatility. In Ader's benchmark test, it performs slightly behind OpenAI's O1 model, but it is significantly more cost effective for coding tasks. Plus, it outperforms Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and DeepSeek version 3 in almost every benchmark. Seeing an open source model not just compete but surpass state-of-the-art systems is just truly incredible. And which is why today we're showcasing the combination of DeepSeek R1 with Klein, which is a duo that forms the ultimate AI coding assistant that anyone could practically get a hand of. So with that thought, let's get started and showcase how you can get this whole system set up. Before we get started, I got a huge new update. This is where I've launched a new newsletter. This is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis and it's essentially going to be updating you on the latest AI advancements, comparison of different large language models, AI news, as well as ranking different AI agents. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free AI news. And just the FYI, for the people who do not know, Klein is an autonomous coding agent that's directly within your IDE that's capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, using the browser, and so much more autonomously. And essentially, we're going to have this DeepSeek version R1 model combined with it so that it can practically do anything coding related. Now, something insane is that the DeepSeek R1 is significantly faster and cheaper than Anthropic's Claude models. Now, if you take a look at this image, you'll see that there is an 180.6 TPS, which is tokens per second. And this basically makes it a more efficient and cost effective choice in comparison to Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. To get started, go ahead and install your ID of your choice. In my case, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and get a DeepSeek API key that's linked to a billing account. And make sure you go ahead and install the client extension. If you do not know how to install this, go over to the marketplace link, which I'll leave in the description below. Click on install and it will open this up within the store or the marketplace within VS Code. And then you can go ahead and install this. Now, once you have it installed, you'll see the icon on the left hand panel. You can go ahead and open this up, click on this gear icon, go over to the API provider and then click on OpenAI compatible. Go ahead and paste in the base URL your API key from the DeepSeek API platform, and then the model ID, which is the DeepSeek Reasoner model. Go ahead and click done, and then you can go ahead and basically work with this AI coding agent. You can say, and you can start interacting with it, and you're gonna be able to get generations and requests sent back to you from it. So essentially, what I'm gonna do now is have it generate this fully functional note-taking web app to showcase its capabilities. I want it to basically create something similar to this, now, obviously it doesn't have image capabilities, but we're gonna go and try ahead and see if we can create something similar to this. So in this case, I went along and I sent in this prompt to create a fully functional note-taking web app. And thanks to Klein's autonomous functionality of auto-approving read, edit, commands, browser, and MCP, it's gonna go ahead and autonomously do all the functionalities of creating this application for me. So let's go ahead and see what it's capable of doing. 
and it looks like the app has been fully created. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and just look at that. We have a sticky note app that looks pretty cool and we're going to go ahead and add in a random sticky note title. Go for a run, let's say. And the note content will be run two kilometers today. We can go ahead and then add the sticky note and you can see the task will be added. Now to make it more like the image that we saw previously, I'm going to add a bit more to this. I'm going to say that make it a bit more cleaner, add a calendar, archive, trash and whatnot, and basically make it exactly the same as that image based off of textual prompts. So let's see what it ends up doing. And you can see that this is such a cheap model guys based off of the tokens that sent in. So. Over time, obviously it would add up, but you can see that this is definitely a great option over Claude 3.5 Sonnet that you can even use locally. So it looks like it is finished. We're gonna now open this up and oh my, I did not expect it to look something like this based off of a textual prompt that was sent in. I didn't provide any sort of image to replicate it. It was all done based off of the textual uh, response that I'd given it. And you can see that it looks actually really, really nice. You have your notes that you can manage over here, the previous one to go on a run. Uh, you have the ability to add notes. You have a calendar, archive, trash can. But essentially it was able to build out this web app even faster than something like Claude 3.5 Sonnet without running into any sort of rate limits. And this is the capability that you get with this new R1 model. Now this is just a side note, but this is something that will showcase the importance of why you would want to know prompt engineering. Because based off of this prompt, I was able to get a good replica of that image I'd shown before. And it goes to show that prompt engineering is quite crucial to get the best generations out of an AI model. So it's definitely a great skill that you should start learning, especially in this day and age, as we will definitely revolve more around AI. It's definitely a great prompt to know and keep learning as time goes. Next up, I'm going to have it create the Spotify clone that works and plays music for me. Now, this is where Klein will autonomously go ahead and create all the necessary files to set this all up. So once this is finished, I'll be right back. So it looks like the Spotify clone is complete, but it had requested me to do a couple of things to create a music folder within the Spotify clone directory. So we're gonna go ahead and create this let's name it music and then we're going to add a couple of different mp3 files and we're going to name it sample 1 mp3 and sample 2 mp3 and then we're going to open this up within the html file and there we go we have a spotify clone and let's see if it actually works So it does seem to work and it has a lot of features to it, but obviously if you keep iterating on it, it would be a lot better. But essentially we did create a basic Spotify app that was able to play music. Obviously it's super easy for AI to do this nowadays, but it did do this and we haven't seen any open source model create any local apps like this in a long time. So this is definitely quite impressive. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on the combination of Klein with DeepSeek's new R1 model. This is truly insane, and I definitely recommend that you take a look at this as this is the best open source model that's available in terms of coding and many other areas like reasoning, mathematics, and so much more. I definitely recommend that you try this out because this is a great local alternative that's free if you are to locally install this versus something like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So definitely recommend that you try this out. Make sure to follow on Patreon as well as the Twitter and make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Check out the previous video where I test the model as well as my other videos that showcase other sorts of models, AI agents, and so much more. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate you guys supporting the channel and I'm definitely going to continue to keep on uploading so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.